The prince was given a traditional Nepali welcome, led by eight-year-old Unati Gurung, who hung a garland round his neck as he walked into the officer's mess. The battalion has made three deployments to Afghanistan since 2001, and some of the riflemen have paid a heavy price for that service. Inside the reception, the prince caught up with Corporal Hari Budamagar, who lost both his legs in 2010. He's so caring for us, uh, all service personnel, uh, and he, he asked me to so. <laughs> So, so my working and I have son in me as well, so yeah, it's good, good, always good to see him um, and it's, it's always my honour to see him. Rifleman Kushal Limbu also lost both legs in an IED explosion in Helmand in 2008. Since then, as part of his recovery, he's been training as a sprinter and hopes to qualify for the Nepali Paralympic team. As soon as I found out that I would be running with my blades, then I decided to have a go. Uh, and obviously, um, Running blades are quite good, they're quite light, um, quite strong, so it's, it's really good to, like, it's like your back on your real legs, but not real legs, but you feel like you're running your real legs, so it's quite, quite amazing. I'm a whisker away from the qualifier time, so like 0 0.3 seconds. The prince laid a wreath at the memorial gardens in front of the Gurkha temple in honour of all those in the regiment who've lost their lives in service. Visits like this are also important for the families. It is very good to see him visiting us and it's kind of moral support to us and our husband um, in very difficult situation and every ceremonies and difficult situation I think. The Prince of Wales is Colonel-in-Chief to the Royal Gurkha Rifles and his regular visits to the battalion's HQ here in Folkestone are a valuable boost to morale, especially ahead of another challenging deployment to Afghanistan. Rosie Layden, Forces News in Folkestone.